but just to have borderline on a day-to-day -day basis I just want to say that living with borderline personality disorder the one word I always always comes to my mind first is exhausting like it's so so exhausting so tiresome um it's just I could be having a conversation with someone and I could go through two or three mood swings in the space of like 15 20 minutes and um they come and go really quickly but it still happens you know and it like it's it does take it out of you by the end of the day um it's also really scary because like I don't trust myself you know like I really don't now even though I'm like way more controlled and I I definitely trust myself more I don't trust myself to like I I would never drive if I was upset no way um I don't like going for walks and I'm upset and people always say go for a walk no like there's loads of like canals and stuff where I live I shouldn't laugh that I don't I don't even know what that was but um you know like just the impulsivity and like how low you can get so quickly is just terrifying and that's you know probably why like like they say 70% of people with BPD attempt suicide and 10% of that succeed so it is a really high number of people who um, successfully commit suicide with BPD and that's scary and I can totally understand why and for me it's not just like the the having a depressive episode for several months that would worry me it's the um impulsivity when I hit rock bottom in the space of like a day and it's just scary because like I could wake up and be fine be high as a kite and then um something could happen and like I'll be really low all of a sudden you know and I could be crying and then the same day I could feel like fucking god and then the next like few hours not even like bloody minute um I could be crying so I hate my body you know like it's just it's just really tiring frustrating um and scary to deal with And I hate it. I really do. Oh, God. I think I'm done. I don't even know what to say. I just... It's just really hard. And it's scary as well because you fear abandonment but you don't want to put anyone through being your partner. Even like when I'm doing really good, I'm just like worrying. Always worrying about when my next like episode will be when I lose control again. I'm like, what will happen? Because it's, it's going to happen, you know, at some point. And just... And then I care too much about what I look like that I don't even want to show me crying. I'm like, like I really want to show. <laughs> truth behind it but then I'm worried about like 
what I look like. Like, even now, I'm like, what do I look like on camera? What do I look like when I'm crying? That's so stupid. <sighs> Fuck. I'm already dreading editing the clips because it's my first long video that I know I have to do it. And I just don't want to look at myself like I do not watch any of my IGTV videos back because I just can't. I don't want to watch them. I don't want to watch myself. I can't look at myself. <laughs> it's really fucking annoyed. I just need to end this because I'm just going to keep crying. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks. <laughs> and um. Uh, I don't know, a subscriber or something. <laughs>